Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Dillon and welcome back to our quest to find baseball's greatest team and today we will find out who is the National League's greatest ever team in theory <laughs> and who will go on to face the 2017 Guardians for the right to be the all-time greatest team in baseball. So it is the 2007 Colorado Rockies. Yes, that is right. You heard me correctly. A uh, bit of a Cinderella story they have been. And the Pittsburgh Pirates of 1925. So the Rockies to get here. Let's go back and reminisce their dream run. They beat the 1975 Cincinnati Reds, then they beat the 1980 Phillies, then they beat the 2019 Nationals, and uh, as for the Pirates, they beat the 1967 Cardinals, the 1986 Mets, and then the 1963 Dodgers. So, uh, the Rockies went 90 and 73 in their regular season, uh, and we had the Pirates going 95 and 58. So, it's a one-off game as always, modern era strategies, 25-man rosters, and let's go check those rosters. And here they are here with their stats from their particular seasons. As ever, if you want to have a bit of a longer look, just pause and zoom around me and you can uh, you can examine the stats. Uh, we're pretty familiar with them though at this point, aren't we? Let's go and see the starting lineups. And here they are. So leading off the Rockies, it is Willie Tavares in center field. Garrett Atkins bats second at third. Brad Horpy in right field bats three. Matt Holliday in left field cleans up. Todd Helton at first base bats five. Tulowitzki at shortstop bats six. Torelaba catches at seven. Then we've got Jeremy Car uh, Jamie Carroll even at second base batting eight. And Jeff Francis, he is on the mound. And for the Pirates, it is Max Carey in center field leading things off. Kiki Kyler in right field bats second. Earl Smith catches at three. Glenn Wright is cleaning up at shortstop. Then we've got Grantham at first base at five. Pi Trainer batting six at third. Eddie Moore at second base bats seven. Clyde Barnhart in left field bats eight. And Lee Meadows is uh, the Pirates man on the mound. And here we go. This is very, very exciting, isn't it? So, uh, uh, there's a part of me that just thinks if the Rockies go on and win this whole thing, <laughs> um, I mean, it's going to be a nightmare, isn't it? But, oh, we start with an error. Well, let's hope that's uh, not how the Pirates mean to go on here. So, Tavares is at first. Atkins is at the plate. It's a 1-2 pitch. And that is into left field for a single. So we'll have runners at first and second with none out. And it will be Horpy to the plate. I think the, the 2007 Rocky is very similar to the 2008 Rays, who we obviously know went to the, the American League final, in that they obviously overachieved. You wouldn't have expected them to do what they've done, as Holiday is going to open the scoring, surely, with a one-out double into left field. So the Rockies make them pay for the error. Well, it hasn't actually gone down as an error, so maybe it was just an infield hit. It's 1-0. Helton to the plate. First pitch. And Helton is going to be out at first. So two on, two out. And can Tulowitzki drive in any extra runs here at 2-2 pitch? And he strikes him out. So that could have been a lot worse for the Pirates, couldn't it? So they get away with just giving up the one. But yeah, I think there's a lot of uh, similarities between the 2007 Rockies that we've got here and the 2008 Rays. And I think we saw the 2008 Rays eventually, you know, like their luck kind of ran out and they got a bit of a touch up by the Guardians. I'm wondering if we see something similar here, although two up, two down so far for Francis as Earl Smith comes up. Or maybe, you know, maybe they are the, the true Cinderella story that go all the way to the final. And three up, three down would suggest maybe that's the case. But it is only one nothing, And it is Torellabart to lead things off. It's a 2-0 pitch. And Torellabart grounds it to the third baseman. That'll be one away. In comes Carroll now. Full count on him. Carroll watches it and gets a one-out walk. So pitcher up to bat. Jeff Francis. What can he do? An 0-1 pitch. Francis looks to lay down a bunt. It was straight at the pitcher. Oh, and now that is an error. The Pirates, they need to settle down here, don't they? The throw was off the mark. So Meadows will be credited with the error. And there is two on one out for Willie Tavares, who is one for one. An 0-1 pitch. He looks to lay down a bunt. That looks like a good one. And it gets the runners over to second and third. And there is two away. So big, big at bat for Garrett Atkins. He is one for one. It's a 1-2 one pitch. Atkins up the middle. It is through. Oh, it is not through. It is a lunging catch by the shortstop. And that has just saved two runs. It was Wright who now steps up to lead off the inning. It's a 1-1 pitch. And Wright has grounded it to the shortstop's union for one away. All right. Next man up. It is going to be Grantham. 
It's a first pitch swing. Grantham up the middle. Is it going to drop in? No, center field's there. It's Tavares. And that is two away. Pi Trainer now. A full count on him. Trainer draws a walk. That looked quite close, didn't it? Where are we here? No, no, it was down. So, Eddie Moore. It's a full count on him. Eddie Moore draws a walk. Two on, two out all of a sudden. And it is Clyde Barnhart. It's a 2 1. Barnhart, eh, he's popped it up, hasn't he? He's popped it up into left field. He's caught. And that'll do it for the second. It is still 1 0 to the Rockies. And it will be Horpy to lead things off 0 for 1 today. Full, uh, full count. And he has drawn a walk. How many? It's been like five walks. That's now in the last two innings. Uh, Holiday steps in. He's 0 for. Oh, no, he's 1 for 1 today. Sorry, isn't it? Because he uh, drove in the run. And he is a big part of the reason why the Rockies are here. He has carried them uh, most of the way to this point. And he gets another hit on an 0-2 pitch. So 2 on none out for Helton. He's 0 for 1 today. It's a 1-2 pitch. And Helton into center field. That'll be caught. So that'll be one away. Runners will stay where they are. And it'll bring up Tulowitzki, who's 0 for 1. It's a 2-2 pitch. Tulowitzki strikes out. That is 2 away. And Torelaba comes in 0 for 1. It's an 0 1 pitch. Torelaba into center field. It is going to drop in, and that might be a two run hit. Surely you send the man from third. They do. And Torelaba with a two out, two RBI double means it's 3 0 to the Rockies. Meadows will stay in to face Carroll, who is, uh, he walked last time up. Full count. And this time Carroll strikes out, but it is 3 0 to the Rockies going into the bottom of the third. And it is Lee Meadows to lead things off. 1-1 one, one pitch. Meadows into right field. He'll be caught. So that's one away. Max Carey now 0 for 1. It's a 2-1 pitch. Carey dribbles it in front of the plate. Terrell is out over to first. 2 away. And it is Kiki Kyler who is 0 for 1. Full count. 2 out. None on. And Kyla holds off one, but he shouldn't have. And that'll be the end of that. It is 3-0 going to the fourth. Where it will be Francis leading it off against Meadows. Francis, I think, walked last time up, didn't he? Or did he lay down a bunt? He laid down a bunt, I think. It was an error, wasn't it? This time, he grounds it to the third baseman for one away. In comes Tavares, who is one for one. He did lay down a bunt, didn't he? A sack bunt last time up. A 1-1 pitch. And Tavares into center field. That will be a one-out single. Uh, Tavares has been a very good opening batter for them, hasn't he? Or what's leadoff man, I should say. It's Atkins. He gets struck out, but Tavares gets himself over to second. So, runner in scoring position for Horpy, who's 0 for 1. It's a 3 1 pitch. And they walk him to put 2 on for Matt Holiday. He is 2 for 2. It's a 3 0. And they now load the bases for Todd Helton. Could this be the game essentially over? It's a 2-2 pitch. Oh, and they leave them loaded. They leave them loaded and will go to the bottom of the fourth. Still 3-0 to the Rockies. Earl Smith will lead things off 0 for 1. It's a 1-2 pitch. And it's a strikeout for 1 away. In comes Glenn Wright, who is 0 for 1. A 1-2 pitch. Glenn Wright goes down looking. 2 away. And it'll bring up George Grantham. 0 for 1. They're all 0 for 1 because no one's got a hit for them yet. And that is through. Someone's got a hit for them now. Grantham with a two-out single. So High Trainer, who uh, walked last time around, did he? He's 0 for 0 anyway. This time he goes down looking and will go to the fifth. It is still 3-0 to the Rockies. And Tulowitzki will lead it off 0 for 2. And it's a full count. And Tulowitzki into center field. It looks like it's under control, though. It is caught for one away. And that'll do it. So it is Johnny Morrison coming in now for Lee Meadows. And that's unusual. We haven't really seen this from the Pirates yet, have we? Lee Meadows has taken them a long way in the game so far. It's a 2 1 pitch. And that is very, very well hit. And Torelaba is having the game of his life. First up, it's a 2-RBI double. Now he's hit a solo home run, 336 feet, and it is 4-0 to the Rockies. It is Jamie Carroll now who's 0-1. for 1. It's a 2-2 pitch. And they've hit him. 
The 1925 Pirates are falling to pieces. Francis now comes in. He's 0 for 1. It's an 0 at 1 1 pitch. They get him trying to steal second. So two or a two out, none on for Francis. It's a full count. And Francis, big swing, no ding, and we'll go to the bottom of the fifth. Any more to face Francis. Any more 0 for 0. Forget what happened to him first time around. He strikes out this time around, though. That's one away. Six strikeouts for Francis as Barnhart comes in. First pitch. Barnhart. That's fairly well hit out into right field. It is over. And Barnhart gets the 1925 Pirates on the board. 381 feet. And that is a 380 and a half foot fence, I think, because it only just got over, didn't it? But it is 4-1. It is Stuffy McGuinness. It is one of the great names that we've come across so far. He's pinch hitting. It's an 0-1 pitch. And Stuffy is going to get caught in center field for one away. Two away, sorry. Max Carey 0 for 2. It's a 2-2 pitch. And Carey strikes out. So we will go to the 6. It is still a 3-run game. 4-1 it is to the Rockies. And Ray Kramer is the new man on the mound to face Tavares, who is 2 for 2. It's a first pitch swing. And it's a little dribbler back to the pitcher. And no mistake is made. One away. In comes Garrett Atkins, who's one for three. It's a one-two pitch. And he has hit it into center field. Again, it looks under control. It's Max Carey out there, isn't it? And that'll be two away. And it brings Brad Horpy up, who's 0 for 1. It's a one-two pitch. Two out, none on. Horpy strikes out. We'll go to the bottom of the six. It is still 4-1 to the Rockies. And it will be Kiki Kyler to lead things off. 0 for 2 today. A 2-2 pitch. And Kyler grounds it to the shortstop. Is there a risk of an infield hit here? No, there's not. And it's 1 away. Earl Smith 0 for 2. It's a 1-0 pitch. Smith looked very high. And he's just grounded it to the second baseman for a casual out. That's 2 away. And Glenn Wright comes in now. 0 for 2 himself. A 1-0 pitch. Glenn Wright has hit that, but not well enough. And he will be caught out in left field to end the sixth. It is still 4-1 to the Rockies. And it is Matt Holliday to lead things off 2-2. Two for two. It's a 2-2 two -two pitch. And Holliday into left field with a leadoff single. He's a very, very good player, Matt Holliday, isn't he? Certainly in this, in this world that we're living in. Uh, Todd Helton, 0 for 3 today, a 1-1 one -one pitch. And that could be a double play ball, and it is a double play ball. So two out, none on all of a sudden. And it is Tulowitzki who is 0 for 3. The first pitch. And Tulowitzki into right field. That'll be a one out sing a two out single, I should say. Alright, Turelaba. He is two for three. Three RBIs off his bat today. And on this occasion, he grounded out to the second baseman. And that will end the inning and take us to stretching time. 4-1 to the 2007 Rockies. All right, welcome back. Jeff Francis will continue to George Grantham, who is one for two. It's a one-two pitch. And Francis gives up a leadoff single. You do wonder if this is one inning too far for him. So Grantham gets a second hit, and that will be it. Franklin Morales will come onto the mound now to face Pi Trainer, who is 0 for 1. It's a 2-2 pitch. He was nowhere near that. And that is one away. In comes Eddie Moore, who's 0 for 1. It's a, another 2-2. Two -two. And this time, it's well hit into center field. That is going to find the fence. And it might drive in a run. I'm not sure they're going to send him from third. They are not. So a one-out double leaves us with runners at second and third. Tying run at the plate is Clyde Barnhart, who has already hit a home run today. It's a first pitch swing. Barnhart into left field. Is it deep enough to drive in the run from third? I'm not sure it is. They're going to try, and he is going to get there, I think. No, yeah, throws off target. So it's 4-2. And Johnny Rawlins will be pinch hitting now. Two out, runner at second. Rawlins grounds it to the third baseman. And that will be that. It's a two-run game now going into the eighth. It is Red Oldham on the mound. Jamie Carroll at the plate. He is 0 for 1. It's a first pitch swing. And Carroll pops it up into center field. That will be one away. In comes Ryan Spilsborgsbergs, something. He's pinch hitting anyway. It's a 2-0 pitch. And he has grounded that to the shortstop. So that'll be two away. And back to the top of the order for Tavares, who is two for three. 
It's a full count. Tavares watches strike three, and that'll do it. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Can the Pirates get some runs? It is Ubaldo Jimenez on the mound. Max Curry at the plate. He's 0 for 3 today. It is a 1-1 pitch. Curry. Oh, he's absolutely belted it. And Curry makes it a one-run game in the bottom of the eighth. The 1925 Pirates are edging back into this one now, aren't they? And it is a one-run game. Max Curry, 388 feet. And it is Kiki Kyler, 0 for 3. It's a 2-1 pitch. And Kyler, he gets himself a leadoff, uh, not a leadoff single, but a, a none-out single. <laughs> Don't know what, what the term is for that. Anyway, Earl Smith now represents the go-ahead run. He is 0 for 3 as well. Smith, oh, it could be double play. There's one, there is two. And just like that, they are down to their final out in the 8th. It is Glenn Wright. He is 0 for 3. It's a 1-1 pitch. Glenn Wright into right field. But he will be caught. And we will go to the ninth. It's a 1-run game. The Rockies are clinging on. It's 4-3. And Atkins will lead things off against Oldham. Atkins is 1 for 4 today. It's a full count. And it is... Oh, that was definitely a strike. All right, Horpy, 0 for 2. Another full count, one out. And Horpy into center field. It's a good catch out there by Kerry. And that is one away, uh, two away, I should say, for Holiday, who is 3 for 3, an 0-2 pitch. And Holiday into left field. That'll be caught. And it all comes down to this, the bottom of the ninth. It's a one-run game. It is for the best team in National League history. And Brian Fuentes is on the mound to face Grantham. Trainer and more are guaranteed a hit here. Grantham is two for three. It's an 0-1 pitch. Grantham has hit it into center field, and that is going to be... Oh, wonderful catch by Tavares. One away. Pi Trainer is 0 for two. It's a 3-0 pitch. And he draws the walk. The tying run is on base. The walk-off run is at the plate, and it is Eddie Moore. Barnhart up next. Eddie Moore is one for two. First pitch. Moore into center field. Is that going to drop in? It doesn't look like it. Runners going back to first. And the Pirates are down to their final out. It is Barnhart. He is one for two. He has two RBIs already today. It's a one-two pitch. And Barnhart into right field in his court. And the Colorado Rockies of 2007 are the best team in National League history. No one can argue about it. It's just fact. And I just realized I left myself over the far side of the thing for that whole game. So apologies for that. But uh, there we go. We know the two best teams. The best American League team in history. The best National League team in history. Let's find out next episode. Who is the best team in baseball history with the all-time World Series. The 2017 Guardians against the 2007 Rockies. I couldn't say it with a straight face. Take care.